15 minutes could save you 15% or more. My dad used to say that. Sure, yeah, it's from Geico. Yeah, whenever I would ask my dad for life advice, he'd sit me down and say, son, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. And look at me now, a well-adjusted adult with a drawer full of plastic bags I'll never use. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Was your dad a licensed Geico agent? Nah, he was just a real good dad. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the waste vessel, the Black Swirl. It's an ongoing mission to explore strange new stories, to seek out new laughs and new absurdity, to boldly go where no sci-fi podcast has gone before. Welcome to Close Encounters of the Slurred Kind. Banging in the pool, a fucking orgy going on in the pool. Gotta clean the pool. If the movie has any redeeming quality whatsoever, it's this fucking rope. Crapolet. 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 This whole story is (laughs) crapolet. What's up, Sucksters? This is James. Welcome back to another episode of What the Suck. And another I'm here. episode. 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 <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Chris um, yeah. with What the Suck. How y'all here doing? Here with my boy, Chris. What's up, brother? How As you always, doing? always, every Sunday, on Sunday, twice yep. on Sunday, literally twice on Sunday. This is true. We do two podcasts on Sunday. That is true. Yeah. How was your Halloween, my brother? Man, it was good. We had about 50 kids come through in like an hour and a half, almost two hours. Nice. Uh, I got almost rid of all my candy, thankfully. Fantastic. I, yeah, and I for the first time, my house. yeah, and for the first time in like five years, we finally had kids in our neighborhood because we we've actually been uh, have some residents move out, new ones move in, stuff like that. So, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, so it was nice to finally have somebody. You know, and I was glad that it, it was it was nice and cold outside. It felt like fall. Yes, it did feel great. It felt like October. Um, so I was glad for that. And it was dark. It was a full moon, but nothing went completely batshit crazy. That, that's very good. Yeah. So it was it was like overall, you know, and, and in a year that's been just constantly butt fucking you, <laughs> you know. It's, yeah, as I call it, the sandpaper fist fuck. Yes, the sandy handy, yep, the the <laughs> sandy anal bead that's been that's been going on to the American oh, people. Geez. I should say to the people of the world, actually, because it's not just American problem, but the people yep. of the world for the last ten months to actually be able to enjoy Halloween, I feel is a a godsend. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and that's, I saw a lot of people, a lot of people uh, uh, dressing up, and uh, you know what's really cool? I saw a little girl. I think she was like seven or eight. She went as the the guy, the the scream, the the scream, okay. mom, the scream killer, scream dude. I was like, All man, right. look at that little girl dressed as scream. Like, you want to scream? That's that's my daughter. Nice. She's not gonna be no fairy princess bullshit. She's gonna nope. be what's a, a smiley face, right? Is that guy's <laughs> name? What's his name? <laughs> I, no I don't know. I, I I don't watch good horror films. I, I watch shitty horror films. So I don't know the names do of these. Yes, yeah, exactly. Like I don't know, like Michael, uh, what's his name, Michael Voorhees or, or Jason Myers, whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, uh, so what? What episode are we on, buddy? What is this? We are on episode number eight, brother. Eight, ocho. Number eight, ocho. The ocho. Now this is not to be confused with our. Season finale from season two. What is not to be confused? I don't. Know, I don't understand the, the fuck's going on here. Today's movie, my friend, uh-huh, uh-huh. is a 2010 anthology of horror tale directed by none other than George A. The Man Romero, the master. Title is called Dead Time Stories, oh, Volume One. Oh, 
okay. I see Volume what you're one. This now. is an anthology film. Because our, our season finale last year, our last season was Dead Time Stories as well. But it was a whole different map. Whole, that was like a, 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 that was a 1986 movie. Yes. It was and, also anthology. And I'm, Yeah, it was. That, yeah. is, that is very true. And I we are looking to rebound mightily this week <laughs> with at least a <laughs> decent piece of shit. Because oh, man. if anybody listened to our Halloween special, and which we you, hope you did. If you did, I'm so sorry. But no, no, listening to us ain't wasn't as bad as the movie. That's just it. I, I want to put out a public call right now. I okay, want anybody it. who actually listened to our our um, episode last week, the Halloween special, and you actually made it all the way through. All right, you made it through. First of all, I'm very sorry. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> second of all, send me an email at what the suck podcast at gmail dot com. Let me know you listened to the episode all the way through. I'm going to send you a sticker and a pin for being a trooper. For, for hanging in there. For hanging also, in there. Also, uh, yeah, yeah, I want to know I if will anybody. Send you one. Yeah, I want to know if anybody actually bucked our recommendation and actually watched the damn thing. If you, if you said that you watched the movie, I'm not going to say anything extra, but I will say, I will give you a hearty thank you. Absolutely. Actually, no, I will give you a hearty fuck you because <laughs> you, ha- you have now added another viewing to that piece of shit movie online. And so people, people who track that shit, like, oh, look at all these views we're getting for this movie. We should make another one. No, fuck, don't make another one. No, well, that's like that movie we did a couple of weeks ago. What was our episode a couple of weeks ago that had like a hundred and four thousand reviews, but like eighty percent of them oh, hated that shit. Um, that was the summoning. The summoning, yes. yeah, the summoning, garbage, the summon bitch, total garbage. Yeah. Well, anyway, the <laughs> hit it. Oh, it's my buzzer. There you go. Yeah, I'm a little slow tonight. Go on. The anthology is a woman searching for her husband in the jungles of South America. I smell cannibals. I, I smell South America looking like Southern California. Go on. Yep. A man finding a jade box on the beach that holds something sinister. Sinister. And a doctor, which never goes good. No. Finding, during a house call, a boy with a mysterious illness. That doesn't sound scary at all. Doesn't sound scary, but somehow... I think George going to pull it off. I us. hope so, man. Now, I remember when we did his movie, The Crazies. That oh, was hilarious. Yeah, that was, that, that was, was funny, but it's fairly dumb. That was hilariously um, bad. Yeah. But the movie itself stars George Romero. He's actually in it. He's the narrator, I believe. Yes. He's the Crypt, uh, the crypt have, Keeper's role, yep, I guess. We've got Amy Marsalis, Marty Schiff, Anton Pagan. Ooh, Pagan. Matt Walsh, Robert Gordon Spencer, Tom Gregg, Paul Kersling. Fuck, there's a lot of people in this uh, fucking movie. Jeff Monahan, Nick Manguso, Kristen Slaysman, Bingo, Bingo. O'Malley. Bingo. Marianne <laughs> Nagel, and Jason Hoen. You ho, what a ho. He's hoeing. He's, ho- He's hoeing all up and down the street. I, I stand corrected. George Romero is the narrator. He actually does not direct this oh, thing. He, just, he's, he presents... He presents it. It is directed by Michael Fisher, Jeff Monahan, and Tom Savini. Tom Savini, the I like great it says, writing credits. Jeff Monahan and Anton so, Bagan. So Jeff Monahan directed a segment, wrote a segment, and they're all in it. Starred in a segment. Yeah, yeah, they're all in it. So, so uh, Tom Savini, the the great great special effects man. Yeah. That helped bring Romero into the and also worked on a lot of Friday the 13th. Yes, he did. It's an amazing guy. And ha, and had one of the coolest roles in yep. From Dust Till Dawn, where he had the little cannon on his dick. Yep. That was awesome. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> love it. Well, anyway, yeah. like I said, we're looking to rebound here. Hopefully, this one's a little bit less painful than yeah. last week. But let's talk How about these. A, uh, what was it? We have uh, 77, 77 minutes. 77 on minutes. One. Very short, sweet to the point. Yep, let's do it. The synopsis on the back of the box reads as such. Horror master Jorge A. Romero, <laughs> writer-director of the famed Night of the Living Dead, has created the horror anthology George A. Romero Presents Dead Time Stories. The first volume of this terrifying set contains the following three short horror films. Films? We've got Valley of the Shadow. A young woman takes a search and rescue team deep into the... Wait a minute. Yeah. It says African jungle here, but, but in then the on other the one, synopsis on said, the wiki, it says South America. So we'll go with African jungle because that sounds better. Okay. So a young woman takes a rescue team deep into the African jungle to find her missing husband. 
Does she really want to find that something? No, she doesn't. She's looking for his credit card. Yeah, early in their journey, the team makes a grisly discovery that they are actually the ones being hunted. Aha! Again. I knew it. Cannibals. Again, I'm going to call African Jungle. It's going to look a lot like Southern California. Southern Cali. Yeah, forest, because they they couldn't go to Africa to film. It'll look like Gilligan, the the (laughs) lagoon on Gilligan's Island or some shit. Exactly, yeah, exactly. The next segment is wet. A lonely man strolling on a remote beach discovers a mysterious box buried beneath the sand. His curiosity quickly glue glues. glues. <laughs> no shit. His curiosity quickly gives way to terror when he discovers what's lurking inside the box. Lurking inside lurking. the box. Something in the in, box. Inside the box will do just about anything to get out. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs> House call. A mother calls a doctor. Oh, boy. That's oh, original. Scary. To treat her mysteriously ailing son. Little does she know the ungodly horrors that this doctor's diagnosis will unleash. Oh, bump, bump, bump. Is that dramatic enough, brother? Very. I love it. It's it well delivered. Fucking perfect. Fucking All perfect. right, brother. Uh, so real quick, I do, I do want to, um, I want to of course mention the page, the Patreon, and all that shit. Still yes. uh, do, but before that, the reason I want to mention Patreon as well is that because again, the the contest we're having throughout the entire season is that uh, at the end of the season, someone will win the entire set of movies that we we bought yes. that we're watching this season. Um, and to do that, you have to just write a review on on whatever podcast app you use. Send us a screenshot. Of that review to what the suck podcast at gmail.com. Easy. If you uh, are on Patreon and you subscribe to the five or ten dollar level, then you get an extra entry or two automatically each month. Yes. Which goes towards any any uh any uh giveaway, which includes our recently ended uh one for the Sam Sam figure. That's correct. But also rolls over into the the video thing. But I want to mention that because this particular video I got it in my hand right now, it's really cool. Uh, it's got this really neat uh, 3D cover on the front, and it's like a girl in a bathtub, and then you you turn it, and it turns into a skeleton. So it's real nice. real old school, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, old, it's real what cool. What do they call that crap? That uh, It's like a 3D like effect or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is on the cover of the movie, so when you win this, you will win this cool little special edition 3D poster thing. So yeah. So who so, the hell wouldn't want that? So Come tell on, them where they can find the Patreon, James patreon.com forward slash what the suck all one word that's right yeah you got three levels you've got killed in the first scene for a buck uh-huh that's the access to the bloopers and stuff bloopers I mean, and, just, and a shout out yep and a shout out uh we have the almost the mostly, mostly dead. dead yeah mostly almost dead or whatever the hell it's close called. enough yeah <laughs> yep. that's five hours that gives you episode uh, the uh, early access episodes. to uh, ad free episodes you get uh the bloopers of course a yep. shout out um, and then I think you get some of the, of the side projects that we do. I do believe so. And then, and then we got the final girl, the $10 level. That's full access to all the goodies we have up there. And I think we have like 29 things up there, right? Yeah. Now. We have a bunch of stuff. And, then, and Chris has been working, busting his ass, getting stuff up there. So it's nothing to it, man. It's super cheap. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Check super it out. Cheap. And, have, and again, please. and again, the five, and Somebody. Ten, when you do the five, you get an extra entry each month. For I feel the like giveaways. I stand out next to the freeway with a sign, <laughs> the big sign, patreon.com <laughs> forward slash what to suck. Please. Now we got to make that happen yes. and post it on. on I'm going to have to do that. Yeah. I'm going to have to do that. And then the $10, you get two extra entries each month for the giveaways. So it's real, real cheap and you get, you get stuff for it. So yeah, go check yeah. it out. Go check out our, our, our merch shop at, at tpublic.com. Yep. Just search what to suck and it'll come up with our with our cool design. All right, but why don't we go ahead and get into this piece of shit review? I'm looking forward to this one, actually. Let's do it, man. But there's a goblin upon my chest. He's gray and ugly and very gory. And he wants to tell me a dead time story. Doctor? 
Somebody, answer me. You think that whatever is out there, we're going to make it in two days? All I can tell you is that if a man lets one of them out, his life will never be the same again. And watch the press. Anything she wants. <laughs> says that you believe strange things. <laughs> Nobody will ever believe until it's too late. Maybe there are things out in this world that I am not willing to see. Don't be afraid. Be very afraid. Well, well, well. Oh, we Georgie. have ourselves a real winner, Georgie. Georgie Poo. <laughs> One, two, three strikes. What's Holy going on, shit. man? Okay, now I will start off by saying at least this is a little bit better than last week because yeah. at least we had some laughs. Right. Got some good giggles out of it. Um, it was fun to watch. It was. Yeah. It was. It was stupid. So we'll start with the first part. That's the name of the game, motherfucker. That is the name of the game. First part being Valley of the Shadows. Yes. We have this uh, rather attractive uh, lady. Goes and hits up this rich asshole. Uh, rich for, white boy. Yeah. Anyway, he hits her up to go on his jungle hunt. Well, no, reverse that. She hits him up to yeah, go on a jungle that's hunt. Right. She hits him up. She's looking for an investment. Somebody to finance their trip. Because apparently her husband's been missing for like three fucking years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's been married. She was married for what a year, and then he vanished. Yes, or some shit yes. like that. They and married then, for like a year. Then he's been gone for three years. Let's also not forget at the very beginning of that one. There, there's a close up shot. It's at night. Close up shot of her face. There's blood trickling down. All you see is from like the chin to the to the forehead. Right. And you're like what in the hell? And is she's this, talking right? about the Santa Maria de Leche River or some <laughs> shit. And so you're like, okay, so so you get the idea, okay, so. So and that that helped uh, figure out something for us because the description that we found said South Af uh, South American jungle, yep. the box says African jungle. Yeah. So it's so, it's supposed to be South American. So this okay. So we're going with South American. Yeah. Because there's palm trees and shit. This doesn't look like an African jungle. No. It half ass passes as a South American. Half ass is giving a lot of credit to it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, we start off with what would you what did you call them? North Dakota what? Oh, uh, <laughs> North Dakota Jenkins. North Dakota Jenkins, yeah. Yeah, some fat-ass Indiana Jones wannabe. Yeah, he's got cut, the... Cutting these nut sacks <laughs> off this fucking tree. It's fucking... So, apparently, her husband worked for a pharmaceutical company, and these little pods that hang on trees, they look like wrinkled sacks with dicks <laughs> hanging out of them. They squeeze... I'm, I'm not lying. That's what they look like. Yeah. And... And they and got this blue, blue, this blue jizz. Blue, blue dawn comes out. <laughs> this blue jizz. It's, it's the new. Uh, so it's, it's dawn's new container for their dish soap. So apparently, this guy was searching for that. So whatever, uh, whatever. And then all of a sudden, these guys are already in the jungle. That's it. Boom in the jungle. And what's stupid? They go up river. Uh, yeah, they start up river. Wait a minute. What? What are you talking about the startup river? What? I don't know. Let's see. First of all, they start off on land. Yeah. And then they get in a boat, mm -hmm. finally, mm -hmm. with some third-rate character who doesn't even have any lines. <laughs> some Jenkins dude. Yeah, that, uh, some, some Poindexter-looking motherfucker. <laughs> Yellow coat. <laughs> oh, that's right. They, then, then Fat Boy comes running back to his camp. North Dakota Jenkins. <laughs> North Dakota Jenkins. All right, cool. Well, anyway, they come upon this camp. Oh, yeah. He had to dump his bag of dicks. Let's not forget that. <laughs> <laughs> he walks up and he starts cutting these damn things open. And you're like, what the hell? You know, you hear this funky strain. But what, what you what you notice about these things, they look like they were hung on purpose. Yeah, they're not grown. They're not grown. So yeah. you're wondering, what in the hell are they looking for? That's all you really get for those. Yeah, that's it. And then these other boneheads come running by. All right, so let's yeah. let's go over the cast characters real quick. So we have yeah. we have the old white man that went that that, that she approached who yep. said that he wants to go along. Yep. We have the, the lady, the lady looking for her husband. We have uh, North Dakota Jenkins. <laughs> North Dakota Jenkins. We I have 
We have San Juan Miguel. <laughs> hey, there you go. It works for me. Uh, and then we have uh, another dude who has no name. But he has no character either. He has no. nothing. He just he's he's there along for the ride. He's just there. Yeah, and they are deep, 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 deep in the jungle in the South American Florida jungle. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like the set of Gilligan's Island. Yeah, this this place was filmed in Florida. We're thinking Florida or parts of Louisiana, probably. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely not South America. And they come upon a camp full of slaughtered people. Yep. So, first of all, that's a hint and a half for your ass right there. So, the, the, the camp they come upon is, is their camp. It's their camp. They're the, those three individuals, the uh, four individuals, the, the woman, the old man, uh, San Juan Miguel, and the other guy. Yep. They're all out. Searching for stuff. That's right. And then North But see, Dakota, they don't explain that. That's no. the problem. North Dakota Jenkins calls him back to the camp because he found the dicks in the tree. <laughs> <And> so <laughs> I found the dicks. So they run back to camp and that's when they find everybody dead. Yeah. And, and everybody and chopped very, the fuck up. Dead. A very funny shot of North Dakota Jenkins who was in a tent at a table looking at the shit. He's now missing a head. His head is completely fucking gone. It's gone, but his hands are way but up high and shit. His hands are sitting there like he's looking like he's doing some shit. <laughs> so they abandoned camp. And the guy comes up with a boat here in the uh, South Florida swamp. Yes. <laughs> South of Florida, America. Exactly. So they pile in this fucking boat and they head down river. Now, rich boy is like, look, I'm done. I paid a shitload of money for this. I say turn the boat around. I'm out of here. But it's the lady's, uh, her excursion, I guess, or whatever the hell you want to call it, expedition. Yeah. And they pull up to the beach and... There's a bunch of fucking heads. Oh, yeah. On stakes. On stakes, yeah. Okay, but what do they do? Do they keep going? Nope. No. Nope. Let's get out of the perfectly good working boat. Yep. And climb up onto the beach, of course. And then rich white boy takes a fucking poison dart in the right face. Right in the and face. And the boat guy. Dude in the, the boat takes two darts to the back. Take two darts in the back, four. Sure. One. And then. That's rich, it. That's it for now. That is it's just it for one. now. Yeah, that is it. true. Yeah. But the because the other dude takes a, takes the the, the that's right he doesn't out. he doesn't die directly no they all they for some, but like you said for some reason they get off the boat they go inland instead of getting back on the boat and get the fuck out yeah people start dying but yet they get out of the boat and go <laughs> inland yeah but that that's white folk for you yeah so they, they get they get to a place and they stop and then they pull that fucking dart out of rich white dude's mouth and then his whole face turns black and then kill two he just dies just croaks yeah and that's it that, that's it for Nothing that one. gruesome. Nope. And that was it. Yep. So they move along. They've got one fucking shotgun. They actually have a gun, but it's a single shot breech load. Yeah. And um, it's not very good. Not very good. And, yeah. it, and the story just kind of fades at this point. And it becomes kind of blah and boring. They start getting chased by. You start seeing glimpses off screen of uh, of the local, a local oh God. cannibal. Yes. Uh, chasing them. He's just some dude. I'm just going to say white it. Powder. The local white. This is South America, supposed to be cannibals or some kind of killers, and it's a bunch of white dudes. Yeah, it's in like weird makeup. It's like the assistant director's brother who needed, a, who <laughs> you know, was like needed hey. a job. So they they paint him in like all white, ashy paint, and paint yep. his hair ashy, and then put fake ass shit on him, and then That's it's like it. here, you're you're the local native now, and it's just one native. It's one one native, not a four, one not, guy. They couldn't afford anymore. I no, guess. not a tribe. One guy. But what's funny is like this one guy is like two feet away from him the whole time watching him, and yet they don't see him. And, and and again, this is this is not okay. So this is not South American jungle where it's thick around you, and there's, no. there's all kinds of foliage and, and shit where it's easy to hide. This is a, a Florida jungle yep. where there's wide open spaces and clearings, and the palm tree leaves are like have like three inches of space in between each leaf. So it's like yep. you can see. You can see you six, can see for ten can feet see away, for 10, 12, 14 feet is easy. But he's like two feet from them, and they can't fucking yeah. see him. So after they run inland instead of get back in the boat, mm -hmm. they stop for a brief break to get cleaned up and stuff, and they're washing in the pond. And then there's this weird attempt to make this canteen bath yes. that this woman is taking look sexy. They play this sexy, it's very music, slow motion, but. And Nothing. And she just, and all she does is, is rinse her face off. <laughs> it's a tease. Yeah. And she rinses her face off. And then they go to the next scene. She's leaning up against a tree, looking like a fucking idiot. And she's daydreaming like, about her extraordinarily ugly husband. Yeah. Who she, she's looking for. And, and the Harry Potter reject or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so. <sighs> 
What do you do with this, man? Long story short, they're getting chased. Uh, they're getting chased by the fucking uh, natives again. Native. Native. The one. Um, and then it cuts to night, and then uh, she falls asleep. She wakes up, and San Juan Miguel's gone. Yep. And then her and the next, the final dude go looking for him. They find him inside this cage or something. It's and and this and this is pretty good. This isn't too bad. Uh, he's like in a in a. Well, I don't know what kind of box it is, but it like these sticks are driven through his throat. Yeah, uh, through his head, uh-huh. through his chest, or whatever, and he's just basically neutralized, and he's slowly bleeding out. You can right. see him gushing out. You don't see him die. Nope. But you do when they're looking at him. The uh, no name, the no name, useless dude, character number four gets whacked on top of the skull for kill three. So that's three, and right he there. drops. Yeah. So at least we got some kills. And then she runs off, and then she ends up getting bonked in the head, and she falls in the forest, and then wakes yep, up next did. morning. Yeah, she wakes up next morning, got a knot on her freaking head. Mm-hmm. And this is the part that's hilarious, because the native is behind this palm leaf, and it looks like he's trying to hide from her. <laughs> and and, you <laughs> and can, it's hilarious. He's in plain sight. You can clearly see him, like, right there. And then she turns, looks at him, and then it just does a scene cut. To her, her face from Earth from the beginning. From the beginning, where her face is dripping blood, and she's talking, like you know, it's great to be here with you, and blah blah blah. So obviously, she found her husband, but the problem is her husband is on a stick. Yeah, her, her head is on, on a stick. stick, and her head is still alive on a stick, talking in the segment. Boo. Stupid. Okay. Now it started with promise. Yes, it did. It but did. But it really just dropped off. I mean, it, it was. It could have done something a little special. Yeah. But it didn't. It just totally took a total shit. So as we used to do, and as we usually do, um, let's do a cumulative. Let's, let's do individual, and then we'll do a cumulative review gotcha. at the end. So what are you giving this one? I'm giving this one a middle of the road three turd. Three turd. That's not bad. I'm gonna give it a three turd for what it is because it started out with potential, and only the ending uh-huh. kind of killed it. So yeah, I'm gonna go middle of the road on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go three also because um, it 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 was it was fun to make fun of it. You know, uh, North Dakota Jenkins was hilarious. Yeah, that was. Um, <laughs> and, the, and the nut sacks and the trees. Nut sacks shit. and the trees. We had plenty of laughs. Let's put yeah. it that way. So it yeah. wasn't a total loss. No, no, no. But then we go on to our next segment. Our next segment, which is called Wet. And you're like, what the hell does this mean? So. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> we, <laughs> <laughs> we get our typical middle-aged, fat, <laughs> alcoholic white dude still in florida yep still in florida <laughs> oh, shit. it's like they rented one lagoon yeah you know for the weekend and said we're gonna film this whole damn thing here so this one you don't really need to go through this one like we did the last one because there there's really nothing that happens for the first like five ten minutes of this fucking film yep it the first five ten minutes of it are just to show that this man is lonely he yep. he, he repairs antiques or uh or ceramic bowls yeah. and some shit and then he takes them to an no, antique and, shop and nobody gives a flying no fuck. yeah no, and it just, shows him walking the beach and 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 going about his life driving with his, his blinker boat. on he's a yeah. fucking loser but yeah he, he's a lonely guy and then he brings in this box into or the lid into the antiques dealer and he opens it up and it's this jade well Supposed to be jade supposed with to be. gold, but looks like it looks like painted on fucking styrofoam. <laughs> styrofoam painted like green. Green, yeah. Guy flips out, starts telling him you need to take that shit back. He's like, What part was in there? What yep. part? And then it gets it's, it does this stupid thing where it cuts back and forth to him when he found the box to then the present of him talking to the dude, and then it cuts and it flashes back to when he opened the box and found this decrepit hand in there. Yep. And then he just took the hand out and threw it in a fucking drawer. Threw it in a drawer <laughs> in his kitchen. And then cleaned up the bowl and took it in to try to sell it. And the guy told him, you need to get that back. Yeah. Put whatever the hell was in it back in it and yeah. bury it and bury it deep, 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 deep. So come to find out. Let's just cut to the chase. Here. Yeah. This is parts of what turns out to be a mer person. Yes. We won't say mermaid. We won't say mer crab. We won't say mer whatever it was because yes. he goes out there thinking he's going to be some smart guy, digs up all the fucking boxes. So all these, like, chests and boxes and all yes. this in jade. All this jade stuff, because he wants to make money, because the guy yes. said, man, you're going to make a ton of money. This will be all right. But it won't be worth it because... It you, won't be worth it because the price you pay, when, I mean, something will happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, so It's going to kill you. It's going to kill you. 
So he digs it all up, uh-huh, uh-huh. takes everything that's in his box. I mean, uh-huh. he's going through them. He's looking. He got a spine. You find a he head. The head. You find all the shit. Well, anyway, he takes all these fucking things. Oh, I said it. Kill six. <laughs> Wrong. Well, because I can't. I can't be on the same fucking thing with oh, the that's kills. True. But now I can just splice it in there. There you go. Okay, go on. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, here he is fishing again. He's thinking about it. So he digs everything up. Yeah. Digs it all the fuck up. Says to hell with it. Gets all the pieces. I think he puts them in a wooden crate. Puts them in a wooden crate, yeah. And buries them all together. In one crate in the so, hole. And so apparently he ignored the warning, yep. you know. So he put them all together. So obviously what happens? The creature or whatever the hell it is, the mer person, reforms itself mm-hmm. and goes on a, you know, goes to on, his house. A, on a one-person hunt. Yeah. <laughs> Goes to his house and there's a long drawn out scene where he's supposed to be walking through the house and and he hears shit and you don't you you, you catch glimpses of of it inside the house and and then you only get one little funny part because I'm sitting here I made a joke about it I said if there's a mer person in there they're gonna eat that fucking goldfish yeah he has, he has a goldfish and sure as shit the, gold, the goldfish the goldfish vanished was gone yeah he's like what the hell so he goes and gets back in the bed and, and we we were making jokes this whole time that oh, the, yeah. the mer the mer person was gonna come eat his dick. Yeah. We were just joking. Well, we're fucking I'm serious. We were fucking joking about that. And here it comes this thing up from the bottom of the sheets. Yep. Yep. <laughs> He's in there laying there sweating. He's freaking out. It pops out. And pops it's out. Beautiful it's a beautiful girl. girl. Then she goes downtown and crunch. And eats his dick. And then she Holy pops up. Holy shit. It's hilarious. Her face is all mermaid looking scary shit. And then proceeds yep. to eat his dick. Eat his fucking dick. Yeah, she looks like the salt creature from the old Star Trek. If you ever seen the old Star Trek, yeah, episode. yeah, mm-hmm. real weird looking. Eats, I mean, chomps his dick, kills him. Well, actually, nope. I take Does, it back. Doesn't kill him. Doesn't kill him. Nope. It transforms him. Yeah, because the next day the the old man comes in looking for yeah. him. Old man Jenkins, number old man two. Jenkins, and sees <laughs> all the boxes there. Goes and sees him. Finds him in the bathtub with a flipper. With a with a fucking flipper. So then he yep. chops him up. And puts him in the boxes yep. and buries him. And buries his fucking But then ass. while he's burying him, he sees the girl come out onto the deck of the guy's house and she now has legs. Yep. Because she gave the she gave the fat bit the fat dude his her her flipper and she took legs. And then it's revealed that the old man had come across a mermaid before. Yep. A woman mermaid and chopped it up and he's the one that originally put it in the thing. Yep, and it turns out it was her. No, it wasn't her. It was somebody else. So the way it's, the way she explained it was that it was somebody else, but then another person found the boxes, opened it up. Uh, uh, that female yeah. found the boxes, found the original mermaid. The original mermaid came out, killed her, <laughs> put her in the fucking boxes. Oh, Because shit. she says that that, right. the, that, you... that his friend or the dude that he put in the boxes is also her. Like, ah. they, they share one consciousness. They remember yep. everything that happens. Yeesh. So then she kills him. By uh, stabbing him. Yep. And then dragging and walking him out to sea. Yeah, walking him out to sea. He doesn't really remember show him die. No. He, 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 she does stab him in the gut and drags him out drags in the him water. Out to sea. Boom. And they vanish Disappear. and boom. Done. End yeah. of segment. I'm giving that one a six. No, I'm just kidding. It's five. It's a five. It's a five. It's not It's not six worthy, but it's it's definitely five. It well, sucks. Well, you can't. You got to watch it to get to the third part. But yes, I'm agreeing with you there. Uh, I kind of liked it. It was funny to me. It was because, kind of funny, yeah. Because the dick chomping part Yeah, that shit. was funny as shit. So I'm actually going to go four. Go on four, this okay. Yeah, it's a little worse than the first segment, mm-hmm. but to me it's not a five. Term. I'm giving it a five because even though the dick chomping was funny, um, it took three and a half fucking years to get to the dick chomping part. <laughs> and that whole first three and a half year part was oh, boring as oh, yeah. fuck. It was, yeah. So, yeah, that's why I gave it a five. So, yep. Well, the, the laugh I got off of that was good enough. Yeah, yeah. So then we go on to the final story of this segment. The Thank the fucking story. Lord. And this thing. So this one is directed by Tom Savini, the great um, special effects artist. And it's called. Uh, it's called. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> Actually, no, it's called House Call. <laughs> and so this one, <laughs> this one, okay, because the trailer that makes it look and all this shit, we, we thought it was a boy. Because the boy, a mom calls a, a doctor to come help her son who's sick, but he's tied to the bed. Yep. And he's like thrashing about. So we're thinking, okay, he's possessed. Possessed or something funky's going down in this motherfucker. Yeah. So what happens is the doc shows up, goes in there, 
looks at this boy. He, he's like he's sitting on the bed, mm-hmm. and the the white the, the mother is going batshit fucking crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah She's yeah. saying, "Look, he told me to do this. He told me if I didn't, somebody mm-hmm. get hurt. You mm-hmm. know, or this, that, and the other." Yeah. He told me this. Don't think I. I'm not trying to hurt him. You know, I mean, she was like trying to cover her ass or something. Yeah. Which I get. And then he started looking around. So so he he goes over to the boy and the boy tells him that he's got some, he got bit by something and his his blood is bad. Yeah. So the doctor takes a big ass syringe out and draws a whole lot of blood to go test it. Yeah. Um. And so this this one, I mean, we're talking a huge syringe. This thing's yeah. like a turkey fucking baster. Yeah, like a whole like, yeah, <laughs> it's the size of a turkey baster. <laughs> He down there draws like three pints of blood yep. from it and shit. It's like one of those big old turkey needles that you get when you go to Thanksgiving. Those big yes. giant, exactly what it is. The yeah, damn broth needles or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck. Oh, so th- let's also set a little little uh, background. This story is supposed to take place sometime in like the early nineteen uh, hundreds, probably late eighteen hundreds, because yeah, um, the the the, the car, no, I, I guess it's early nineteen hundreds because the car looks like a nineteen hundreds car. Yeah. Uh, there's no electricity. It's all by candlelight. Yeah, but man, medicine's in much more medieval st- stage. Right, and not more advanced. It's the very... phones they use are like those old two piece phones. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the uh, the doctor makes a house call, of course, which they don't. They did back then. They did do back then. But uh, uh, yeah. So and, and then it's also the way it's framed is weird. It's framed in. It's got like these borders on it that are like a keyhole, like a, the, like like you're looking through a keyhole, looking through a keyhole. Yeah, and it's fucking annoying. And so it makes it like a four by three format, which fucking sucks. And then the whole time they're playing 1900s like like music, yeah, which is which is distracting. It doesn't fit in with the whole scene. Um, but <laughs> we were having fun because we uh, before we, I mean, you know, we we saw her call a doctor, but. <laughs> <laughs> they were like making fun like he's a priest. <laughs> oh, because he said priest at first. I said, no, man, this ain't no priest. No priest. It's a doctor. Like he's going to molest a boy. Oh, but, uh, shit. Oh, it was a Lord. doctor. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Um, but yeah, we had lots of jokes. We were rolling. So, but then the, the mother, so he takes the blood and then he goes talks to the mother and she tells him about all these things that the boy told her he did. Like he apparently went and killed like, uh, like four or five women. Um, and then finally at an hour, three minutes in. An hour and three fucking minutes. An hour and three Ugh. minutes in, and we get a glimpse of it's a rescue titties, motherfucker. Oh, jeez, <laughs> it's a rescue titties. Yep, we get. I, a, I'm sitting here going, "What? I'm yeah. trying to remember what the hell we saw." In a minute, small for. glimpse in a, in a a small glimpse of some rather poor uh, rescue titties, and then yeah. we get a slightly more decent pair, right. of rescue titties, but they're mm-hmm. more like side titties. Yeah, they're side, like side boob. The 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 new the what whatever they call amount of nudity, some nudity. Yeah, so the box says there's some nudity in here, and some that nudity, it was all crammed within like 15, 20 seconds of this movie. Yeah, which is okay, whatever. And so, yeah, and so the, the mother's <laughs> complaining to him about you know telling about all these things, all these people that the boy said he killed, and um. So then she's she's she goes to face the fire. Then she's talking this long fucking monologue that I just don't give a shit about. So we'll skip to it. So and she doc- turns she turns around. Yep. Doctor's gone. Yep. You're like holy shit. And then you hear this scuffle going on behind the door. Mm-hmm. You hear this, and you hear the doc make some noise and shit. Mm-hmm. So the kid apparently had he he had freed himself. Yes. And he attacked the doc, uh-huh. which was turns out to be a huge fucking mistake because she goes in there. Notice, you know, and as she's walking, you notice the vial of blood is empty. Yep. And you're like, how in the hell did that happen? Yeah. Well, this motherfucking doctor turns out to be. Well, hold on. Like, so she walks in and she sees him staking the boy. Staking that motherfucker. Yep. Thinking, holy shit. You and know, so she stakes him and he, he stakes him until. Kill four. He kills yep. the boy. He kills him. And then. him out. And he was actually a vampire. It yes. does turn out to be true because his eyes were glossed over and all yep. this shit. So, and he had the fang. Yep. So he took him out and then he stood up and started talking to the mother mm-hmm. and then explained that it was him. As a sudden, his eyes started glowing orange. Yeah. He was the king vampire. He was the, what well, I don't even remember was, the actor's he, name in Lost Boys, the old guy. Oh, yeah. He was uh, he, Max. Max, yep. The yeah, old he, guy Max, the head vampire. He dude. was Max who who he bit the boy, um, and left him to die. But the boy didn't die. He turned he to a vampire. He did not die. He said, "I should have never left him to die." And then yeah, he basically was tur- turned into a vampire. And so he's been scouring the countryside looking for this boy. 
looking for him forever. And he says, and until you called me, I would have never found him. Yep. So, like he, I said, this this was back in the day. So he did. He found him, killed him, came outside, told her all that shit. But he got a hold of her, threw her up on the wall, mm-hmm. held her arms out, and bit her neck. And I guess it, it didn't really show her actually die, but I no. guess you could say she died. Of course she died, but not on so, screen. Not so on screen. It, not on screen, no. Yeah. So it faded out. Then you get this little outro by George. Yeah, who says. Saying, I hope you were scared blah, blah, or hope blah, you're blah. not scared anymore. I like George. I was bored. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to start calling you Bored Romero. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. But you know what? They what, can't all be winners. So what are you, you going to get the last segment? Last segment, for me, is going to get another four. Another four, huh? Actually, you know what? I take that back. Okay. I'm going to go back up to a three turret on that. Really? How come? Yeah, I'm going to go middle of the road because the premise of the story wasn't so bad. Okay. It really wasn't. All right. This one was a little better acted. The, you know, the blood effects weren't too horrible. Okay. Uh, got some so, RTs. But, you know, you got some RTs, but, you know, it was a good segment. Okay. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible like the other two. I'm I mean, give, it had a good story to it. I'm going to give it a five because of Damn. How, how long the, 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 um, monologue sections went on forever for that fucking framing of yeah, like the the, I got the side borders and, and it was all real crammed uh and also because um I, I think the idea of a vampire killing another vampire to kill the competition is the dumbest fucking idea i've ever heard in my life <laughs> you know because True. even 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 let's say, let's, say this, let's say this was in like mm, let's be somewhat conservative say it was like 1890 okay that's right okay. even at that time you know there are still more than enough people oh, yeah. for you to feed on yeah. that you don't need to kill the competition. So you need to suck your ass on down so, the block, Jack. So you you were just a bored motherfucking vampire, had yep. nothing else to do, decided to spend your nights looking for this boy that you killed. Yeah, I never heard of an alpha vampire killing his subordinates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, especially if yeah. it's one of his, one that he created. I wouldn't right. see him killing him off. No. He'd more consider him kindred, I would think. Yeah. No, you yeah, you would you'd want to train you know, like him. Like Max nurtured all the boys. More you know? vampires. Kind you know? of thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. And there's there's gonna be plenty of people that are gonna be born that you can eat on Millions later. Millions of so them. Yes. the idea of him looking for it to kill the competition is dumb as shit. And I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give that that idea, mm-hmm. that story idea, an official <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so all right. Yeah. So wrapping it all up, since this was my pick, you go ahead and go first and give me your well, final analysis. Good. Everybody sir. acted. Everybody's acting, I should say, was good. It was fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Yep. Um, the stories were, you know, they were different. I mean, like you said, we had a uh, a cannibal, a merman, a mer person, and a vampire. Yep. And so we had a little mixture going little mixed on. Mixture. Uh, everything was filmed in one section of Florida, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so the scenery was sucked. The the script was terrible. Uh, uh, there, there was really no um, no. No real idea of what they wanted story wise for any of these segments. Yeah, um, the special effects were fine. They were they were they were you know good, uh, but it was a lot of fun to watch. Yep, uh, we had fun watching. We had fun riffing on it. A riffing lot. on it. Now that, yeah. like I said, that's where that's the value fun. is on this one. Yeah, is this would be an idea for drinking games, right? And you know, and, and it's, ripping it's, it to shreds. It's not that's scary. That kind. Yeah, it's no. not scary. the the middle The middle segment. Went on way too fucking long before we got to the mer person. That is true. Uh, the the first one was probably my favorite one because it was it was so much wrong with it that it was funny. Like from the <laughs> quote unquote South American jungle being looked like a Florida Florida forest. Yep. To the white person being a South American cannibal tribal person. <laughs> um, to the very horrible attempt at trying to make a canteen face wash shower seem sexy. Yeah. Uh, it was hilarious, and then to yeah. her really bad uh, flashbacks of 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 seeing her her Harry Potter husband in bed. Mm-hmm. It was all really funny. Uh, segment three was okay. The vampire uh, was interesting concept, but then the whole part where he's killing competition is dumb as shit. Uh, but because of how fun it was, I'm giving the entire movie a three. Entire movie of three. Entire movie of three. There yeah. you go. So, so in other words, there was enough redeeming moments yes. in the other sections to at least give it. So yeah. three, in case y'all didn't know it, three is one of those ones that you, 
enjoy with your friends, but you need to drink heavily. Yes, yes, but make your friends yeah. bring your friends along and play a drinking game or just riff on it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Now I I'm pretty much you you pretty much covered it. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it. And I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna go middle of the road myself because I had two threes and a four. Okay. The four sense. wasn't bad enough to drag it down any farther. Okay. So yeah. Three. Three. Booze it up. Yeah. Laugh it up. You'll have fun with this one. This it, is not too bad. It didn't it's, turn me off enough to the point where I don't want to watch part two. I do want to watch yeah, part two. I want to see part two. Yeah. Absolutely. So it wasn't that bad. It was it's the great George, man. It's the great George, but he's done so much better things. And I but had, he didn't actually direct this. You no, have to he remember didn't. that. He was just the narrator. But the problem is he felt like he felt confident enough to put his name on this motherfucker. Yeah. All, I mean, not just on it, but I mean. Well, you it's know, all over this motherfucker on the get, front, on the paid, side, you get on the paid, back. Though, get yeah, paid, I mean, get it's, paid. his name is all over this motherfucker. So, but yeah, I want to watch part two. It, yeah, well, maybe one day we will. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Why don't you tell them at home where they can find us and and all this other bullshit that we have to go through? Well, you ain't gonna find us in no South Florida jungle. I'm never going to Florida. Getting Fuck chased that by shit. some white cannibal. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> or some mer person. But you can find our asses. On the fourthhand.com network, along with our sister project, State of Fear. There's lots of other good shows there as well you might enjoy. We are also on the Big Evil Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. Oh, yeah. I do want to thank all of you guys out there. We are listening. Our listenership and our following has grown quite considerably over the last few months. Yep. And we do appreciate that support. Uh, we also have our Patreon page, yes, patreon.com forward slash what to suck. We have our three mm-hmm. levels. We explained at the beginning. Right. You know, go in there, get get your hands on some of that extra material. Try it stuff. for a month. Yeah. Try it for a month. Try it for, for five dollars. You can try it for a month and get all try the good shit. For a month on and there. you can see most of the good shit. Now the yeah. ten dollar stuff, the ten dollar level will be like the special videos and stuff that yeah. we do, the recordings. We are gonna do some do, live episodes. We have some like live that. episodes, uh special episodes that we don't do on the actual show. Yeah. Uh perhaps good uh you know, reviews. Good movie, we do reviews. Good movie reviews. Right, right. But uh yeah, give it a shot. Go check it out. Just do it for one month. If you don't like it, done. Five bucks. You five bucks. You, you waste more than that. Um fucking drinking Starbucks bullshit coffee. Don't get to go to uh T Public. Tpublic.com. Yes. Yep. Tpublic.com and search what to suck. Yes. That's our uh, our merch page. Yes. We can go in there. We've got a couple of designs in there, I think. We got and one actually for what to suck. We one? have two for state of fear, but one for what to suck. Three for state of fear, actually. We got three. We got, we got three. three. Oh, we, got, we do got three. That's right. We yeah. sure do. We got, we got the three for state so of fear. Yeah. But yeah, you can find them both there if you like. Yeah, but don't forget. Uh, and like I said at the beginning, anybody who actually listened to the entire episode of, of last week's episode for the Halloween special and made it through that motherfucker, mm-hmm. email me at what the suck uh, podcast at gmail.com. What the suck podcast at gmail.com. And let me know you listened to the whole fucking thing. Well, see, the movie sucked. We didn't suck. I'm yeah, we didn't hope suck. we didn't. No, <laughs> yeah. If you listen to, the, to our whole episode, email me and I will send you a, a sticker and a pen just for making it through that motherfucker. Damn right. Yeah. All right, bud. Well, uh, I'm ready to get out of here. How about you? Man, I am too, brother. All right, man. Well, I am Chris and I will see y'all at the next shit fest. And I'm James. And if it ain't on what the suck, it ain't shit. Peace out. Deuces. <laughs>
switching to Geico is a good idea, especially when you consider everything. First off, Geico makes it easy to switch. They have licensed agents available 24-7 online or over the phone. But if it's so easy, you might start thinking everything is easy, even big wave surfing. And it's not. It's actually quite difficult. Well, if you switch to Geico, you could save hundreds on car insurance. And you could keep saving by bundling your motorcycle, boat, and RV, plus your home or renter's insurance. But saving money might lead you to make some questionable purchases, like a 20-foot feather boa. And do you know how hard it is to clean a 20-foot feather boa? Well, they do have an industry-leading mobile app you can use to pay your bill, file and manage a claim, or add a new driver. But when life gets a little easier, it makes you too confident. And you start calling everyone ace. And you're better than that. Well, Geico has a 97% customer satisfaction rating and has been saving people money for 85 years. It's hard to beat that. But you're right. Switch to Geico. It's obviously a good idea.